this reading is for Melissa Kay and she says um, I'm doing some auditions to enter drama school next year I would just like to receive guidance from my angels and hear what they would tell me about that okay all right so I want to tell you something about that first and um, it's the most important thing I think is to make sure that you get yourself a good coach and um, someone who can see you doing your pieces from the outside and guide you through them. But I think I already mentioned that to you. So I got number 22 from the little book of daily guidance. Okay, so Melissa, time is not real. Are you still placing obstacles and limitations in the way of your wishes, hopes and dreams? Are you investing in the illusion of age and telling yourself it can't be done, it's too late? Or do you simply feel there just isn't enough time in the day for everything you wish to accomplish? Time is an illusion. Expand your mind into the infinite. Breathe deeply and feel your way through time. There is enough time for everything. Today, remember to trust the natural cycles of your destiny and the rhythms they create. Value time, but don't fear it. And ultimately, value your health, well-being and peace of mind much more. So... What I feel about this is it's working on two levels here. Your energy feels young, but for some reason I feel as if you're telling yourself, oh, I've left it too late, or I should have done this sooner. And number one is I want to tell you, you know, you're doing it at the perfect time and you must go for it, <laughs> okay? Just go for it, just, you know, just grab it, do it, okay? And have confidence in yourself. And the other thing is um, about the illusion of time, whether there's going to be enough time to do everything, am I going to be able to do this, am I going to be able to fit that in, you will find that when you're inspired, yes it's going to be all consuming to do it, you will find that when you're inspired by something that you love that much, that there will, the time will kind of work itself out somehow, you will find enough spaces and also even a full-time course is not necessarily going to be completely full-time. I feel that there will be time for you to do everything and that's the, that's the main concern that's come through so far in terms of what they want you to know. They want you to relax about the time aspect and to know that it's all going to be okay, that you'll be able to manage everything because that needs to not be a factor when you actually go into the room. You need to be completely relaxed, completely ready you need to let yourself know on every level, okay, I'm ready to do this now. The time is now and I'm ready to do it now. I know that might all sound confusing to anyone else, but I feel as if you'll know what I mean. You need to not take any past uh, fears or disappointments or questions about yourself with you into that room. You need to just take yourself, your pieces and your confidence in the now, in the moment and just say, right, I have full faith everything is going to work out just perfectly and I'm just here right now to take you on a journey to show you what I'm capable of doing and then you will be just fine I'm hearing okay you'll be just fine okay that's great so you have a guide with you as well who is very good at um, that part of the arts who is I feel not just um, you know a director, a playwright. Some so I feel you're being influenced by a playwright. So you possibly have ideas yourself about writing at some point. You know that will come in at some point in the future. But you have an intricate understanding of literature, is what I'm being told. A sophisticated understanding of literature, and this will help you also. So spend time pulling the pieces apart and putting them back together again in the way that you know to do with all your emphasis and all your ideas in the right place with a great degree of um, sophistication and intelligence you will be just fine and then they're saying and stand up straight and tall no more slouching okay again they're saying that you'll know what that means oh my goodness the timer right okay I'm gonna set this for six minutes because I'm guessing that's probably about four minutes of talking so far and forgive me if it's not the right time but I have to do something about my forgetfulness with that timer right so let's just see what cards you get as well to help you okay let's look at that last because it came skipping out and I feel like it's kind of a crowning message so let's just see where are we what does Melissa need to know 
about her auditions all is well you've done okay up till now this is the past okay you've done okay up till now with all the little things along the way you've done okay so there could have been other little things that you've done that have been a part of this progression and you know I know this journey very well myself so you know all the things that you've done have been pointing you in this direction and it's okay it's all good it's all been showing you the way all right so uh present where are you Gifts from God, Archangel Sandalphon. We angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. So you have a lot of gifts there. You are not just doing drama. You've also got this writing gift that's waiting to come in. And it's, you know, it's not necessarily the writing that you will be doing in the future that's kind of hovering around. Um, you're not quite that writing has not started to come through yet so you are right to be concentrating on your drama on your you know performance skills on all of those things because they are training you again and again and again to go deeper and deeper into your understanding and your appreciation of literature and plays so that eventually one day you will feel like I actually want to write something now this is just a glimpse of that <laughs> it's where you are at the moment is your performance skills and also I feel your body I see you stretching I don't know if you do yoga I don't know if it's dance but I feel I see you doing some stretching and you look as if you're all in white, like white tights and white, um, oh, do I, I don't even know if they call them leotards anymore, but I feel like there's something there, like movement or, you know, something. It's all great. It's all good. So just enjoy it, make the most of it, develop it, learn everything that you can. And again, straighten up, posture, everything that you've learned, posture and self-belief. How do you walk when you believe in yourself? You know, be that character when you walk into the room. <laughs> okay, they're saying the show starts as soon as you walk into the room. Before you walk into the room, in fact. Please, you know, no slouching. I'm sorry to repeat it, but that's what I'm hearing. Okay, so that's all looking really good. Everything's happening exactly as it's supposed to, with hidden blessings that you will soon understand. So there was a disappointment in the past. Um... I know you've done lots of other little things that have gone really well, but I do feel there was a disappointment before. Like, maybe you tried and you didn't get in before, or maybe you tried a different course and you didn't get in. It wasn't quite the right course, or it wasn't quite the right time. You'll understand in the future exactly why, okay? So just keep going, just keep going, because it's not failure, it's feedback. You've learnt, you've grown, you knew what to hone and develop next, and, you know, it's all good. Focus on the successes of the past and leap from those into the present and then the future. Look at that. I mean, that's pretty spectacular to get in the future position. It's, you know... It's a promise of things to come. However, I am very reluctant to say that sometimes because it's like, um, you know, that thing of the person who someone says, oh, you're going to win the lottery. And, um, you know, they get a reading, a tarot reader says, you're going to win the lottery. And then they go back to the tarot reader and say, and say um, oh, you said I was going to win the lottery. I didn't win the lottery. I'm still struggling. What's going on? What are you saying? What, what's your problem here? And the tarot reader says, well, did you buy a ticket? And they say, ah, okay. <laughs> because the thing about readings generally that I kind of shy away from with prediction is that sometimes it can be a little bit disempowering. And the, the readings that I love, there are some great ones out there, are the ones who, that, that will show you what's there, that will do some healing, that will give you some guidance, that will show you the potential and then give you back your free will. I'm not telling you this is going to happen. I'm saying to you that if you continue on this path and you work hard and do the things that have been suggested and go in with confidence, this is looking like a career path that is going to really, really bring you a lot of abundance and not just in terms of uh, wealth, but you know, physical wealth, but also wealth of the spirit, wealth of your creative artistic sensibilities and your ability and your self-assurance, your giftedness generally. I feel that this is, you know, I don't want to say to you, if you're asking whether you're going to get in or not, this is a yes. Because what it actually is, is 
a yes if you follow those steps and you do it with confidence and you believe in yourself as with everything okay but let me just say categorically it's looking good okay so i just want to encourage you but i really want you to encourage i want to encourage you to stay empowered and to make sure that you do follow the steps okay so we've got this crowning card here and i'm really curious to see what it is clear audience okay so your guides are guiding you they are speaking to you they are influencing your thoughts. They are helping you to know the right thing to say, the right thing to do at just the right time. They've helped you to pick your pieces. This particular guide has been with you and they are helping you to straighten up. I feel like sometimes you remember and you straighten up. That's them encouraging you. I feel as if sometimes you learn a piece really quickly and you think, how did that happen? And it's because they're working with you at night. I just feel like this is... Um, quite a blessed path for you and that's all I want to say <laughs> okay so keep going and enjoy it and good luck and please come back and let me know how you get on and also feel free to post a message here to let your friends know about this service and also to check out the paid services that I have on my website and to share those as well okay because um yeah I think you'll probably be able to afford them soon <laughs> just saying. Anyway, okay, good luck with that and take care. Bye. I don't know if it's real, but when I'm with you I feel a little closer to heaven. And yes, you move me that much, and I get from your touch a little closer to heaven.